Assalamu alaikum. So welcome to SAT practice. So uh, today we're going to do another set of geometry question. So let's we'll start with the first question. The area of a triangle PQR is 6. So the area is 6. And we know that the area is half base times the height. So if the base is 4, so this will become 6 equal half times 4 times high. So which means that 6 is 2 times the height divided by both sides by 2. That means 3 is the height. So Q P is 3. So this is 3, 4, 5 for a triangle. So this means this should be 5. This should be 5. So if uh, don't know the 3, 4, 5 triangle, so you can use the Pythagorean theorem. So if this is my C, so I got C square equal 3 square plus 4 square, which means that 9 plus 16, which is 25. So C square equal 25. Then you take the square root both sides. So C will be 5. So the answer is Next uh, question. In the figure to the right, uh, the equation of the line AB is y equal minus 5 third x plus 10. So the area of the shaded portion is, so the area of the shaded portion, where the, the area of the shaded portion is the right triangle. So I need to find out the high and the base, which means I need to see the y intercept. So the y intercept will give me the high and the x intercept will give me the base. So here we know that the area of a triangle is half base times high, which means that I have half x times y because those are the x intercepts that we find out here. Now, here my equation is y minus 5 third x plus 10. So to find out the y intercept so we make x equal 0 which mean x 0 here that's mean y equal 10 so here this is 10 to find out the x intercept we make y equal 0 and we solve for the equations so I substitute 0 here so I got minus 5 third x plus 10 so minus 10 both sides I got minus 10 equal minus 5 third x. Then you cross multiply. So I got minus 30 over minus 5 equal x, which means that x equal 6. So here is f. Next question. Uh, in the figure to the right, which one of the theta? This is it. Assume this is my angle one. This is my angle two. So for the big triangle, which is the right triangle, the, out, the outside triangle. So this is 30. This is 90. That means the whole thing must be 60. So this is 60. So I have the angle one plus angle two is 60 and this is 90 this is angle 2 this is angle theta so which means that we'll have theta plus angle 2 is 90 you see this and this is 90 and those two is 60 so if you subtract those two I will have the angle theta minus the angle 1 is 30 which means the angle theta is 30 plus angle 1 when we add the angle on both sides. Alright, so now if I use that triangle okay, so as you know that x is less than AC. You see the length of x is less than AC. So which means that the opposite angle to the 
x is always less than the opposite, uh, the opposite angle to AC. The opposite angle to x is less than the opposite angle to AC, which means the opposite angle to x is what is 1. So the angle 1 is less than the opposite angle to AC, which is 30. So it's less than 30. So if I add 30 both sides, I get the angle 1 plus 30 is less than 60. And what is the angle 1? Is the angle theta. So angle theta must be less than 60 degree. Next question. So uh, this is 50. Angle are vertical, it's made they are congruent. Y is 72. So this angle and this angle are vertical, that means this one is 72. So, and we know that those three are linear angles. So, this means the sum of all those three is 180. That's why we'll have 72 plus Z plus 54 equal 180. So if I add those two, so I get 126 plus z equal 180. And to find z, I just need to minus 126 both side. So z will be 54. And a is my choice. Next question. If one of one of the side of the rectangle show in the figure has length three, so obviously the length three must be x because it's x here. So, so this means this is nine. So then the area of the rectangle is the area is three times nine, which is length times width, which is twenty-seven, and d is my choice. Next question. So I the value of x plus y plus z. So uh, those are vertical, that means this is my z, those are vertical, this is my x, and those are vertical again, this is my y. x plus y plus z is, this, uh, this. if I take the sum of those three, is the sum of the internal angle of a triangle, and the sum of the internal angle of a triangle is always equal to 180. So c is my choice. Uh, in the figure, what is the area of the triangle ABC? So, uh, this is an, uh, as a Swiss triangle. So, this is 45, which means that this one is 45. So, which means that triangle is an isosceles triangle. So, this is my x, this is really my x, and because This is an isosceles triangle, so uh, the high is nine, is uh, perpendicular bisector. Always the high of an uh, uh, isosceles triangle is a perpendicular bisector, which means that this again is x. So we know that the base of the triangle is x uh, to x, and the high is x. So the area, so the area of the triangle ABC is half base times high, which is half. The base is 2x, and the high is x. So the two cancel out. So this is x squared. So this is exactly what is the area, but I need to find out x. So here I have a right triangle. So I'm going to use Pythagorean theorem. x squared plus x squared equals 10 squared. So I have x squared plus x squared equals 10 squared. So 2x squared equals 100. Divide both sides by 2, so x squared equals 50. I don't need to find out x, I just need x squared because x squared is the area. So b is my choice. Next question. In the, in the triangle to the right, we have y over x is 3, which means if I multiply both sides by x, I have y equal 3x. So 
if I use the triangle inequality, I have x plus y is always greater than z. So x plus y is greater than z. But we know that y is 3x. That means we'll have x plus 3x is greater than z. 4x is greater than z. And a is my choice. Uh, in the figure to the right, which one of the following statements about the circumference C of the circle and the perimeter P of a square must be true? All right, so here we know that this is the radius. That means the circumference is 2 pi times the radius, which means it's going to be 2 pi times 5. It's 10 pi. And this is the radius is 5, this is 5, this is right triangle. That's me to find out the side, I'm going to use the Pythagorean theorem. So uh, I know that uh, if this is my side, so the side square is 5 square plus 5 square, which is 2 times 5 square. So if I take the square root, S will be 5 square root of 2. The square. I need this way, so it's 10 times 2 square root of 2. I will the value, the approximate value of poly point 14. Approximate value value of square root, so that's similar with have 2 square root of 2 is 2.82. 2. If I type by 10, so I got 10 pi is greater than two is what pi is you see the circumference is greater than the perimeter. So A is is the pi in the rectangular coordinate system as shown. So we have this circle here. What's the value for x? So we know that this is the diameter because it's here. And the length from here to here is 8. Yes, that's mean from here to here is 8. And this is again is the diameter. The diameter, the length of this diameter is the same thing as that one because it's only one diameter. So that's me from here to here is 8. So what I need to do to find out x, add 8 to 2 here, so it's going to be 10. So d is my choice. So uh, I hope you, are, you got an idea of this type of question, how the SAT work. So uh, if you have any comments about the lesson or the presentation, please do so. It will help me a lot. Thank you for watching the video and uh, Salaam Alaikum.